hey team, wanted to come at you with a short video on how to remove a Carol PZ SVS NH100. I came across a gentleman the other day who wasn't familiar, familiar with this control and in trying to remove the control, the whole face of the unit um, ended up getting totally busted. Um, and the hardware used to hold down the control was just totally ripped apart. So in this video, we have another unit right here. And on this particular, this is actually a new one. This one right here came out of a store. This little metal plate pretty much represents uh, whatever cover it's going to be installed in. Okay. Now, there's pretty much two ways to remove this control. Okay. The first way is this particular unit has these yellow clips that sit right behind it. And what happens is the metal cover sits right in between, all right? That sits right in here. You can see it right here. And to remove it, if it is utilizing these clips, what you're going to need to do, if you look right here on the side, there's a little push button on each side. You would push, pull that clip off, the same with the other side. Push it in, pull it out. All right, and then with that, the unit will be able to slide right out. Okay. Now, there's also one more way, depending on the manufacturer and whatever equipment this particular unit is in, they might utilize the secondary hardware to hold this onto the cover. And with that, what you're going to need to do is there's actually a plastic plate that sits right over here. Okay. So that would actually have to get popped off. Let me see. There you go. That plate will get popped off. And you're going to see two screws, one on each corner. And what those screws control is actually this little flap right here. Okay. This little flap almost acts like an arm, kind of like this clip, just to kind of hold this control in place. All right. So what you're going to need is a uh, small screwdriver. You should have one of these. And you're just going to move this to the right. Now, this is to engage that little gate right there, right? You would move it to the right, and it's going to pinch down onto that metal. To remove it, right, you're just going to turn it down. What that's going to do is allow that to become flush, and that unit will slide right out. So the way that you would utilize the other hardware that's built into the control is we would need to remove this plastic plate right here. And it's already been um, removed more than once. So I'll be able to just kind of pick this off. You may need to get a little screwdriver in there to, to remove that. Be careful that you don't break uh, the cover because if it's broken or cracked or anything like that, it's not going to look good. Um, if you need to make any adjustments or correct any wiring in the back and you're trying to use the same controller. After that, you're going to need your small screwdriver. This is a slow, small Phillips screwdriver. What you're going to do is go ahead and pull that little gate back. The same with the other side. What that's going to do is allow this to slide right out like so. All right, hopefully this little tutorial will help some people out there. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, it lets me know that, hey, keep on uh, getting these small videos out there to help out the team. All right, thanks.